Hi, I'm Molik and welcome to my another session of Xamarin's Prompt Validations. Today, I'm going to teach you how to move or scroll through validation message when submitting your poem. Here, I have already implemented my code and I posted this code on GitHub. And here is the URL of GitHub. I'll mention this URL in video description. Let's move to our code and here is my main page and here I took one scroll view inside scroll view I took a stick layout and here is my control for validation and here I took some other control to see the actual problem let's run program Uh, and let's move down and submit our form and submit what's happened I didn't find any help any error let's move up and here you can see the error message the post name field is required the last name field is required and the email address field is required uh, here we have to do when uh, we submitting form and we have any error we have to move the actual error message to show let's find out the solution of this problem and first close debugging and let's move to a validation based class uh, I already show how to implement it well it implement validation based class in my post video and here I have implemented the I notify school to property interface. Let's move to interface, and here you can see the school went a school to property. And this is a custom interface, and that I implemented to school. Let's move to a validation base, and here is the validation base. And, and here is the method to invoke a school to property event and here I invoke this event and here I call that method to invoke a school to property and here on upside I also added one property to get the post error message up, uh, sorry for to get the post invalid property name and here when the control has any errors it will return the post property name of, of the error Let's move the, our main page code behind file, and here is my main page code behind file. And what I'm going to here, I going to uncomment my code, and and here I invoke the school to property event, and I get the post invalid property name. Let's run program. Just move down and submit a form. Let's undebug this control. And here you can see the focus of the first message, the first name field is required. Now let's move down again and hit the submit. Submit. And here you can see the, the, the validation message, the first name field is required, the last name field is required. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.